Hello everyone. It's been a year since I installed this uh, Predator engine on this um, Cyclone Rake. And um, first time I'm actually using it in the uh, real world, let's call it. And there are a couple of issues actually. Uh, engine started up first pull after sitting in the shed for a year I did run it uh, dry uh, keeping the gas uh, uh, you know shutting off the gas first um, but um, uh, yeah so that's uh, awesome the problem is the muffler uh, I don't know if you can tell actually yes you can but as you can see I only had it on for a minute and it already started to melt the plastic here also the muffler is shooting right over here which is where the gas tank is uh, gas tank doesn't seem to be heating up but this metal definitely is so the muffler is in the wrong place so uh, what I should have done when I built this is actually raise it even more and uh, turn the muffler this way so that this port right here is shooting up shooting out in this direction this actually makes it hard for the to clamp this in place it's not impossible but it's definitely a bit of a pain uh, but obviously the fact that it's melting um, the chute over there is uh, is a big problem So I'm gonna be reworking this muffler. I am gonna basically cut the pipe there I'm not gonna touch the flanges. I'm just gonna cut it out cut it right in the middle over there and raise it up a few inches and then turn it around this way um, uh, Well, that means that I don't I don't need I no longer need that tilt so I might have to rework that in the end. Uh, but I mean, as you recall, I made the flanges anyway, so maybe I'll just cut it right there and uh, build a new flange, straight piece of pipe, uh, rotate it correctly, and off we go. It's gonna have to be you know, high enough so that it clears this, obviously. Um, uh, there is a bit of heat coming off the bottom too, so maybe I'll have to put a shield on the bottom. Um, yeah, so this is a bit of an issue. Um, I'm probably going to review what the muffler on the old engine looks like, um, which was right here as well. It just wasn't that big of a problem. Uh, but this thing definitely puts out a lot more heat. So, um, and maybe putting sort of a double shield, uh, kind of bolted onto this uh, uh, cover right here with some spacers uh, and uh, sitting back there so that it's kind of isolating from that. Uh, maybe putting one on the bottom so that it doesn't heat this up as well. So, back into the shop. I'm glad I tried this out before I, before the leaves are a problem, which as you can see, they're a big problem as it is. Uh, but I should have this done in no time at all. So, that's the update. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with the muffler modification. Okay, well, so we're back at this again, and the plan is to basically bring that muffler further away from this housing right here, which as you can see, it started melting, and um, also point the muffler away from the tractor, which is right here. Uh, so I need to obviously bring this up and turn it around. So I'm thinking of installing this thing somewhere over here. Now, I did see that they have some pipe looking uh, mufflers that you can buy and that screw ba basically screw onto a pipe. Um, but either way, I would have to custom make this uh, the pipe that connects these two things together. Uh, so I'm thinking of just reusing this muffler. Uh, at the end of the day, it's brand new and uh, this is probably the, the quieter option given this is gonna be making as much uh, you know, noise as it is anyways. So, um, yeah, so the muffler needs to be somewhere over here. Um, I don't want it to be close to the gas tank. I don't want it to be close to the air filter. So I'm just gonna raise it up and turn it around. Um, kind of centered basically on the engine. Hopefully there won't be too much vibration. If, if so, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to brace it to maybe this bolt or that one there or that one there or something like that. Um, so, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this pipe right here at a slight angle this way. Uh, I've already marked it, the, the shallower of the two. And then use basic, basically the same black iron pipe that I use for this to kind of bring it out here and then turn it up and then I will weld 
essentially I will weld this extension onto this piece and then I will weld this extension onto the end piece right here sort of to make it you know kind of a transition like that um, obviously I cannot bend this so I'm gonna have to make as gentle transitions as possible weld them together and hopefully my welding will uh, be um, airtight so that's the plan I am gonna start cutting this guy and then basically eyeballing some extension pieces at different angles uh, tacking them together and so on so I will show you the progress well <clears throat> my homemade muffler extension is almost done but this is what I came up with so basically I cut the pipe that I had done previously and you can find this in my previous video that goes through the entire engine swap here uh, cut this in half at a you know eyeballed angle uh, so this is the first piece and this is the original second piece and then I eyeballed a piece of pipe in between and I was hoping to do it all in one shot but um, by doing so it was it was not pulling it away far enough from here and uh, it was too close to the gas tank it was too tilted and so not and whatnot so I had to add a little piece here as you can see right there um, but uh, yeah, so now tomorrow with daylight, I'm gonna take this outside and weld it all uh, all around. Uh, I'm not gonna do that in my garage right now and it's cold outside and it's dark. And um, hopefully this works. Now, as far as vibrations, this thing is quite heavy. Um, it's not bolted down right now, but uh, I guess I'll know when I fire up the engine and if, um, Again, if there's a problem, uh, I can probably fashion a bracket uh, uh, maybe from here um, that goes up straight straight up. I mean, ideally from here, but I don't want to really touch this. Uh, maybe this guy right here, actually. So that might be the right spot. So get a little, uh, little angle bracket that comes up and just weld it right here. Uh, yeah, in fact, that's probably the best place. Seems to be the best geometry here. Little going, little triangle going. Uh, obviously, still have access to the spark plug, uh, air filter. It's away from the gas from the um, uh, gas tank. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, this originally was right here, right? So facing this way, but it was sitting right here, so close to this entire uh, space. Uh, actually, I stand corrected. The original muffler, the way this comes off, it's kind of sitting off to an angle right here. Um, so, anyways, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow when I weld it all. All right, so it is the next day, and um, as I do my best thinking while I sleep, I decided overnight that I should add that bracket after all. Now that I have my welder out and my uh, uh, tools, I uh, might as well just get it done because uh, this is quite tall and it's going to be a problem. So... I have not uh, finished welding the exhaust um, pipe yet. Uh, basically, I went to that bolt right there, took that out. It's uh, quite deep, quite strong. And I just um, started, I grabbed a piece of metal uh, from the scrap pile and I just started bending the thing. Um, it works amazing, actually. Uh, really, I didn't have to work on this uh, too long and it came out really good so uh, and again i don't have any special tools i just use a sledgehammer and uh, this uh, allen key to uh, twist this at the top here um uh, so yeah so it's bolted down there and it's going to get tacked over here i need to bend it just slightly more or what i want to do is i want to um, weld this completely and then secure it firmly in place and then I will tack it. Obviously, I'm next to a gas tank here, full of fuel. So I'm just going to do one tack and run away. I'll cover this with something. And um, But again, I want to have this completely welded and, and in firmly in the position that it's going to stay in. And then I will uh, tack this on. Uh, I think I need to bend it just another hair a little more uh, so that it's a little more centered there. Uh, not that it makes that much difference, but um, uh, yeah, so then I'll just give it a tack. And once this is uh, all done, of course, and um, yeah, go from there. All right. 
Well, so here's the finished product. Um, weld, all welded up and spray painted with this uh, heat resistant uh, engine paint. I had it, so I'm just using whatever I had. Um, the gaskets, uh, I think you saw this at the beginning, didn't come off. Uh, I managed not to damage them during this whole process. Um, so hopefully they are still good. And I am now going to get going to put this back together and uh, get out there and get some leaves done. Well, here's what it looks like fully assembled. Uh, this thing is uh, rock solid. It doesn't move. It doesn't vibrate. Um, I shaped this a little bit better so that the spark plug uh, cap here wire fits no problem and I can also get a wrench to get that screw out which holds this bracket in place. I also reworked that bracket just slightly to get it away further away from the gas tank. Um, the bolt here has uh, been tightened up again and all the bolts down there are tight so yeah this thing is rock solid uh, i'm gonna get it outside and show it to you uh running uh one thing i just noticed that i'm a little disappointed this uh, engine being um yeah just about a year old is the rubber here is already starting to degrade i mean this thing set in the sh it was run for maybe 10 minutes last year and maybe december time frame it's set in the shed uh the small shed outside there um all winter, all summer. Um, I mean, I have stuff in there that doesn't do this. So um, yeah, that's a little disappointing, but hopefully that won't be a problem for a while. But I'm guessing these uh, rubber hoses here um, are probably gonna be an issue uh, eventually. Anyway, uh, let me uh, get it going and I'll show it to you running. Well, first problem is uh, that clamp won't close. And now I cannot operate that thing at all. Uh, the muffler is just clearly in the way here. So, note to self, measure um, first time around. But, uh, I mean, realistically, if I had moved this thing over another half an inch, uh, probably that would have cleared. Um, but the problem is that then this thing would have become a freaking monster, right? It's just the pipe would have been way too long. I mean, it already is kind of long. Um, so just to show you where that sits and yeah, it's not perfectly, you know, turn 90 degree, but it works fine. Um, so I'll probably put some, um, not a tie wrap, but, um, just a piece of metal, just a, some wire here to kind of keep this uh, together. I don't normally take this off anyways. So, um, whatever, let's see it running. is burning off that's good that clamp there is not ideal but that works as well serves a purpose um, I don't feel any heat back here hasn't been on much long but it works um, so anyway uh, version 2.0 I guess of this uh, muffler modification and um, I'm gonna get to work and getting these leaves out of here so um, have fun Bye. All right, just a quick follow-up uh, before I conclude this video. Uh, the muffler is definitely working. As you can see, I did the entire back section here and um, no problem. Actually, this engine is the first time I used it since I swapped it late last fall. Uh, you can see the video on that uh, from last year. And it's got a lot more power than the old Tecumseh engine. Uh, it, it's noticeable. Um, I haven't had any clogs in the in the hose, and uh, I've had big chunks go through that pipe. You know, if I see the hose uh, clogging up a little bit, uh, it is see through against the light. Um, I just slow down a little bit, and it just sucks it right in. Uh, muffler hasn't been vibrating more than it would vibrate if the muffler was directly attached to the engine. Uh, and um, I just shut it off after about a good 20 minutes. This is 
you know, barely warm, but it's uh, not melting anything. It's uh, not hot enough to cause any issues. Uh, and obviously, again, the exhaust is now shooting the opposite way. Um, and, and by the way, I noticed that uh, Cyclone Rake has an engine swap on their website. Um, I don't know why they, they, they offer that, but they offer an engine upgrade. And I noticed the muffler is sitting in this area right here. Uh, and it's shooting in this direction. So that's kind of silly. But I noticed that some of their shots have a pipe that comes down and directs it downward. So it's definitely an issue. Um, you know, it should have been, a, it should be addressed uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a nicer way. But in any case, my solution seems to be working. Uh, not pretty, but this is a dedicated engine for this purpose. Uh, and if tomorrow I was to use this engine for something else, I obviously can always uh, unbolt them up for and, and modify it accordingly. Uh, but it's gonna sit here. I've had this thing for probably eight years at least. Um, uh, in fact, I have a video on the impeller swap. I bought this used and uh, I did an impeller swap maybe a year or two after I had it. So this is at least um, uh, eight, maybe nine years old. Uh, for me anyways and who knows how old it was when it was first purchased so um it's still working fine but it does have uh you know new impeller again a relative term i, I noticed the date of my video when i did that swap was seven years ago i just can't believe the seven years went by um so the impeller is seven years old at this point brand new engine um and it sucks leaves like there's no tomorrow uh you do need obviously to for it to be attached to the mooring deck um you can i do have a longer hose that i use to uh, 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 suck the leaves, you know, when they go into a corner or whatever, when they go into a pile. Uh, and in that case, it, it, it fills up a lot quicker because the leaves don't shred up um, because they don't go through the mowing deck. But anyway, uh, the engine is working. My cyclone rake is back in uh, uh, operation here. Uh, one more note, I should say, since we're speaking of the whole thing here, uh, the wheels, uh, those wheels have been a problem from day one. They were an issue when I bought this thing. They were not, actually they were original, but they were very wobbly. They wouldn't turn properly and so on. I bought some of those Harbor Freight wheels two, maybe three times, and they're a piece just, they're just garbage. So these are the tractor supply wheels. They are 50, 55 dollars a pop, I think. Not ideal. Uh, they, if they were wider, they'd be better, and maybe you know these could be doubled up, uh, like the uh, uh, kit that um, Cyclone Rake sells. But I just think it's ridiculous to spend all that money on just wheels. But obviously they're necessary. But this, these seems to be doing the trick. Uh, this is the second year I had these on now. Uh, the the Harbor Freight one didn't even last a year. Uh, at one time. Oh, I just noticed I have a rip here, and it's because I keep hitting stuff. Uh, when I turn, so I need to be more careful here. Uh, in any case, um, yeah, so uh, uh, at the moment, this thing is uh, operational, and um, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna get to work and uh, finish this job and uh, go get some coffee. So have fun with your project, good luck, bye.